My first Masters, um, my first time seeing Augusta, my first time seeing Tiger win in person this week for me was a lot of firsts. Two, three years ago I started pushing more of my golf photography for me to combine kind of two of the things that I was most passionate about that had always been with me in my life. It opened up a lot of doors in golf for me to kind of navigate through and learn more and more. I started seeing golf a lot more creatively. The landscapes and the lines, it really makes working those scenes really enjoyable. That led me to get more involved in architecture and all kinds of things. The Nikon Z series is, has been really fun to work with this week. As a golf photographer and a golfer, being able to carry something that has that much resolution, that much sharpness, and that much detail in an image and such a small form factor is, is a game changer. Coming into the Masters, I knew that it would be kind of a challenge. Going back and researching, you know, photos from 2018 all the way to the 60s. And then that's when I started looking at the colors that were being used on certain films and, and trying to emulate that in my photography. Just the scale of it, the slope, and kind of the grandeur of it all was, everybody prepares you for it, but you just can't explain it until you see it. The patrons at the Masters are very different than most fans at most golf tournaments, and that's, I think, a lot to do with the stories that I was telling. You're in a time warp. To be able to do this on the biggest stage, um, which is the Masters, is incredible.